Hey y'all, it's everybody's mama and it's time to cook. All right, you guys, so today we're gonna be making goulash. You're gonna need some um, elbow macaroni noodles, beef broth, Worcestershire, bay leaf, oregano, or Italian seasoning, some paprika, some Mexican shredded cheese, beef. Let's get started. In our skillet, we're gonna throw a little piece of butter in here, get that melted so we can get our onions started, so we can get them down translucent, y'all. Y'all know that's my favorite word, okay? So go ahead, throw the onions in. We're gonna start sauteing those, getting those broke down. So now I'm just showing you here, we're starting to get those broken on down. We're gonna add in three slices of tomato. I forgot to put that in my ingredients, but I like to use fresh tomatoes along with my ragu sauce I'm gonna be using. So we're gonna cook that so it gets soft. Then we're gonna take our ground beef and I like to kind of break mines up with my hands in the pot. <laughs> Never mind that chunk you gonna see there. I still had a little frozen piece because these kids were hungry and I was running behind today. So just go ahead, break down your beef inside your pot. It'll make the whole process much easier for cooking. All right, go ahead and chop that meat. Go ahead, cook it on down with our onions and our tomatoes. And you can see this meat is actually pretty greasy, so we drained it out. I don't want any of that gunk there. So now that we have our meat in here, we're gonna go in with some light seasoning. So black pepper, all of our seasonings we had on the side, okay? I'm gonna get my huge old salt, okay? And go ahead, sprinkle that on in there. And I see you eyeing my garlic knots back there. Yes, I'll have to show you how to make those. But let's go in with our Italian seasoning. Go ahead and sprinkle that in. And a lot of these seasonings are salt free, okay? So we are going to um, make sure that we kick it up a notch. We're gonna take a little bit of paprika, put that in there for the smokiness. I'm gonna go ahead and get that stirred up. Oh, yeah, I forgot one thing. We have to add in our bay leaf, honey. Go ahead, get your bay leaf, put it in there. All right, then I went in with some garlic, you guys, because I forgot to get some fresh garlic from the store. So this is something I always keep in my fridge because I cook with a little all that garlic, you guys. It is your go-to. Now we're gonna go in with some Worcestershire. Now, I did not measure this. I'm gonna say I'm gonna do about six, seven, eight, nine, ten shakes, okay? Gonna spread that around. Good, and it smells amazing. When you cook yours, you'll see. Now I got some leftover ragu in the fridge. We're gonna dump that in there. Now you don't want this to have a lot of sauce. This is not spaghetti. We want this to become kind of the consistency of macaroni and cheese. Just thick whole heartiness goodness. Now you're gonna take your shells and you're gonna just go straight into the pot with them. I know you're thinking like, where is the boiling water? Aren't we supposed to boil it and add it? No, you're gonna get your noodles so mushy. So add them in raw, yes, raw. Go ahead and mix that up so everything gets coated with all the flavors and seasonings that we've added into this pot, okay? Now we're gonna go in with our beef broth, okay? And pour that in. We wanna make sure our beef broth comes up to the top. I cannot stress that more enough, that your liquid has to cover the ingredients in the pot. Because as this cooks on our stove top, those noodles are going to absorb all that beef broth to give you that wonderful flavor. And soon we're not even gonna have that. So, you know, this is just me just checking the level. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit more sauce because the other one I felt like I, I didn't have enough. So just a little bit more sauce, just dash more flavor. I love my ragu. Go ahead, put the top on that. Let it cook for about 20 minutes on low, okay? 20 minutes on low.
So after a couple of minutes, uh, my noodles are starting to plump up. I taste it and I feel like I'm missing like a little extra mm. So I'm going to go in with some accents and I know it seems like I'm probably adding a lot, but it's not because A, we used a beef broth that has like low sodium to control that salt content and I tasted it just to make sure but that's kind of the consistency you're looking for you see that right there you guys now I'm going in with my shredded cheese okay right in this pan this is a one pot one meal okay spread that cheese on top like so like that okay then we're gonna go in with our parsley because y'all know I love some color and I can try to sneak in veggies any way I can. So let me go ahead and put some parsley on top and that's gonna give it a beautiful color. Once we put our parsley on top, go ahead and put the top back on with the stove off. And after we left that sitting for about six minutes, this is our ending results. And plate that bad boy up for my youngest baby because he's ready to eat. And we got a meal. That's my goulash, y'all.